what it be like for all my seeds. Y'all know what time it is. I'm here to do a timeless reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Of course, y'all know who I am. Now you're Sanchez, aka Drop the Mic with Mocha, also known as the Nocturnal Theater, Psychic Medium, um, Dream Interpreter, uh, and to a tarot and oracle reader. So I'm um pulling in the energy for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Love, career, and personal messages. Virgos, what's up with y'all? Because I'm still in, I'm still picking up a lot of heavy energy when it comes down to your relationship, your love life. Okay? This is heavy, 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 painstaking, agitating energy. This is, I'm picking up an energy of annoyed. Somebody is still in, some of y'all could be in a, in a marriage or a long-term relationship or live with somebody. And right now you're just feeling annoyed. Okay, Virgos, some of you uh, could have children because the Empress is out here with the Two of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Some of you could be feeling stuck, you know, because of responsibilities, because the Two of Pentacles is out here. Some of you are very emotional because the Queen of Swords is, I mean, the Queen of Cups is out here. Okay, some of you could be feeling not at your best, maybe a little bit insecure or even questioning yourself because this Queen of Swords is out here twice. Okay. So some of y'all are feeling very discouraged and could be even dealing with um, a lot of crying or depression right now. Some of my um, Virgos um, that are single could definitely be, you know, um, tired of being single because the Queen of Wands is in reverse with the uh, Four of Swords as well. With the Two of Cups in reverse and the world in reverse. This feels like a never ending cycle with the Nine of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. OK, so I feel like a lot of my Virgos are really um, trying to figure out or contemplate like why you know am I not attractive enough you know am I not appealing enough what's stopping me from having a healthy relationship or what's stopping me from even being in a relationship some of you are tired of being alone some of you want marriage and some of you are sad and, and feeling maybe a little lonely and down and discouraged when it comes to love okay for some of y'all you could be married because the four swords is out here with the knight of pentacles and also, this Queen of Swords is out here twice with the Ten of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles is in reverse, okay? With the Page of Cups in reverse. So I feel like a lot of y'all could be a little bit stressed out. Uh, maybe because of a lot of uh, uh, home or domestic responsibilities. The Two of Swords is here with the Empress as well. So I feel like this Two of Swords is definitely some of you guys could be struggling with, um, you know, your future. You could be struggling with your future, trying to trying to see what's next for you. You know, um, some of you guys could be struggling with your inner personal self, Virgos. Um, I feel like a lot of you are kind of all over the place with, with the way that you're thinking about things. You know, um, dealing with some emotional instability as well. With this Two of Pentacles, this Two of Swords, the Empress and the Queen of Swords. Some of y'all could be dealing with some sort of depression that I'm, I'm feeling, you know, um, I feel like that whatever it is that you've tried to have goals for, that you feel tied down to your responsibility. And children could play a big factor for some of my Virgos with your finances, okay? So let me see. Why is the uh, Four of Swords here for my my um, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for their love life? For the months of October to November, Sacred Ancestors, uh, calling in the quantum energy for... Virgo, someone right. Okay, so with the four of swords, you have strength and you have the chariot. So I feel like a lot of you uh, may want to maybe travel, but you can't. You know, you may want to move forward with something in your relationship, um, but you you don't feel like you're able to do that right now. Okay, some of you may even want to um, go out and explore something different. Some of you guys may be just annoyed with your relationship all the way around because uh, um, you're may, you may be just feeling stressed out like you don't really get a lot of time to yourself with this Four of Swords and this Queen of Wands in reverse. Some of you may be struggling with that. Uh, with this Two of Cups in reverse, there could be um, a lack of help with responsibility when it comes down to personal needs. Okay, This Four of Swords reminds me, with the energy that I'm getting from this is annoyed. OK, I, I keep hearing like a bunch of noise. There's a lot of noise. So this four swords just reminds me of somebody that just feel like they need a damn break from everything and everybody. 
okay? And if you have a family or, or a husband or children, you may even feel like you need a break from that too, okay? So I feel like that this Four of Swords is definitely screaming out to me, annoyed, just tired, annoyed and tired and just want to be by they wants to be by myself type of energy like i just want to shut everything down right now and just just be by myself i want to go somewhere and just sit in the water and just you know kick my feet in the sand and not just have to deal with nobody but myself for about two or three four weeks okay <laughs> this is the energy that i'm getting from that but it's also coming with the queen of wands in reverse the two of cups in reverse and the world in reverse so i feel like some of you may need to retreat and you cannot do that because of um whatever your responsibility is at home okay with this two of pentacles and the four of wands you just may not be in a position to just up and leave like you want to so um I think that this is definitely causing a lot of uh, re some of you are are gaining some sort of resilience out of this as well. Um, but I also feel like a lot of you, it's taking a lot from you. OK, with this chariot here, some of you may be having issues with your motivation because the chariot is here with the strength and the four of wands. So your your home life, your love life or your relationship life or your domestic personal life could definitely have a lot to do with other aspects of your life being held back or not progressing the way you wanted to at this point in time. And I feel like this is what some of my Virgos are struggling with, trying to see like what the hell is my, what's, what's holding me back, you know? Um, but what it is, is there's just too much responsibility some of you are dealing with. And for my other um, Virgos that may be single or, or, or dating, you know, um, some of that could just completely be, you know, it's just not time yet divine timing and some of you feel like it's just taking too damn long to get to that one to that to that to that ninth one like uh i'm ready to be married and you know happily living my life and going on trips and going out on dates and to to other countries and you know you want to you want companionship but this 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 um this this will of fortune with this nine of wands is saying that you're you're stressing yourself out over something that's going to happen on its own and you're trying to force it to happen and it's just not time yet you know there are still some things that obviously some of you need to heal from yourself and i know you don't want to hear that because people get tired of hearing that shit and i get it but the reality is you cannot have a healthy relationship with nobody or attract that to yourself until first you fix you so with this nine of, of wands here this tells me that there are still some some wounds from some past wounds or childhood wounds that some of my Virgos may still need to work on so that you can uh, finally come around to, you know, that that love, that relationship that you that you want to call in to yourself. Because some of y'all are just completely sick and tired of just being feeling like you just by yourself all the time, you know, just feeling like there's nobody for you. And this is the energy I get from this eight of swords energy. We know that the eight of swords energy is an elusive thinking. You're not really tied down. You're not really stuck. You just think you are. So this is coming from a lot of overthinking. Then with the queen of swords here, um, with the knight of, of, of pentacles and the ten of pentacles, this is definitely telling me that somebody is definitely contemplating or thinking about marriage and family and relationships, having children. Some, some of you may be um, sad about, uh, some of you could have maybe... Um, this is this is might be a little disturbing for some of you, but some of you could have been just had a miscarriage or maybe um, feeling like you are not able to have children. OK, so this is causing some sort of depression and some sort of stuck feeling and energy for some of you guys with this queen of swords energy. I feel like there is also a resentful energy to towards this um, wanting to. Uh, manifest a family situation for some of my other ones some of you are annoyed because you feel like you're bound and stuck in a family situation so that you can't really you know move around like you want to because you're stuck you're, you're committed to something else and you really want to be free and do other things and you can't because you know you ten of pentacles you have a family that you have to deal with you have children because the empress is out here okay so that could play a big factor boom Here's the Empress right here in the Queen of Cups. This is awesome. This is this is definitely a mother and a wife. Okay, a mother and a wife, and the Two of Pentacles is out here. So some of you definitely may want to do more with your with your um time, but it's it's almost like you you're struggling with um you know uh responsibility and finances and children could play a big factor for my um 
Virgos that's in a relationship. For other one of my Virgos, um, you may be dealing with somebody that's cheating or juggling you with other women. And you're tired of the bullshit and you're ready to walk away from that relationship and cut ties with it. But again, finances could be keeping you bound. You know, money ties could be keeping you bound. Children could be keeping you bound. Long-term relationship could be keeping you bound. But this relationship is not happy at all for those that are in relationships that may be rocky or turbulent at this point in time, Virgos. I feel like a lot of you know that it's just time to let it go. But some of you are too stubborn to just be like, you know what, I'm walking away from this. Some of you are afraid to want you. Some of y'all don't want to be by yourself. Okay. And uh, the bottom line is like I tell everybody, you know, it, it's nothing wrong. It, people take solitary for granted because they think that it is something wrong with being solitary or single. It's something wrong when your ass is unhappy and you continue to stay in that relationship for years and years and years and years stuck in this energy right here and this four source energy and you don't want to do nothing about it. You know, um, never let no, you y'all remember that movie, um, Love and Basketball, when old girl told her, never let a freshman take your spot. Never let a relationship break you to the point to where this is your fucking energy. The four of swords and the eight of swords, you know, and then you walking around in this, this five of cups and queen of swords energy. That's a very unhealthy energy. That's a bitter energy right there. So some of my Virgos could definitely be dealing with some bitter emotions, you know, because of, you know, you stay, you, you allow yourself to stay stuck in a, you know, a turbulent relationship for way too long, a one-sided selfish relationship for way too long, too much cheating. Every time you turn around, somebody could have be been out cheating. You know, y'all break up. They go out, get with somebody else, not somebody, you know, coming back with, you know, and, and about all this baggage, you know. But um, this is what I get for some of my my uh, Virgos, uh, some of my and Venus, love, uh, love uh, messages. Uh, tell me why the Empress is here. Give me what is the energy and the messages of the Empress for my uh, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you for the ancestors. Hold on to the quantum energy of the Empress. Tell me why the Empress is here at the top of the universe. Give me clarity for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus love messages. Tell me why the Empress is here. Give me clarity. Uh, okay, what we got, what we got, what we got. Look, look at that. So we have the, um, the Ace of Pentacles. So again... Some of you could definitely be wanting to work on some type of career. Um, and some of you may be doing good as far as your finances. But it's, it's there's other things that you may want to explore. Somebody is very ambitious, but not feeling that confident right now to make a move on it because you're feeling held back by other things. And it's all this damn stress and overthinking and bitterness and, you know, just too much emotion. Emotional, it very much so a lot of emotional imbalance. The Queen of Swords is out here twice. That's out here twice. So that tells me that there's, you know, um, some of my Virgos are looking for some serious clarity about their love life. You know, they're trying to uh, gain some clarity on why their love life is stagnant. Why is it stuck? Why are they still single? Why is my relationship, you know, rocky? Why every time I turn around, you know, this 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 MF looking at somebody else, or I, I get the energy. This is insecurity. Some of my Virgos are dealing with a lot of insecurity, okay? Some of my Virgos are dealing with a lot of insecurity. A lot of insecurity. Some of y'all may work with um, other women, okay? I'm not really picking up so much of of, of 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 cheating and infidelity although there could be some for some of my uh, virgos because there's the two of pentacles here and the two of cups is in reverse but i really feel like this is more interpersonal with some of my virgos that this a lot of this is just some of y'all are dealing with a lot of insecurity this is exactly what this is a lot of insecurity um just a lot of up and down emotions you know a lot of you questioning everything you don't feel like you're up to par at this point. A lot of y'all are dealing with, you know, inner struggles of feeling like you're not enough. Some of you guys don't feel, you know, attractive because this queen of swords is in reverse with the four of swords. Some of y'all might feel like y'all mates, husbands, or boyfriends may not be attracted to you sexually or may not be attracted to you because, you know, you may be not doing your hair or, you know, um, you may be going through this stage of some sort of depression and you may not be, you know, keeping yourself up the way you really want to 
Uh, this could also be due to, you know, again, household responsibility. The four of wands, the chariot, and the strength. Some of you guys are not getting out. Some of y'all are not, you know, taking time to yourself. And you got to be able to do that. But then you also have, with the four of swords, the page of cups in reverse and the two of pentacles in, in, in reverse. Okay, uh, so this tells me that a lot of you are not pouring into yourself. You're not pouring into yourself. You know, you're trying to, you, uh, you, you're pouring into every, everybody else or everything else, but you're not pouring into yourself. So this is causing a lot of resentment for my Virgos. Okay. Some of my Virgos, um, that's in relationships or marriages. Okay. And you're taking it out, your insecurities out on your marriage. Okay. Possibly, um, some other companions as well. This is a lot of insecure energy that I'm picking up on. Uh, and, and, and emotional instability and overthinking and exaggerating for some of my Virgos, okay? But for my single Virgos, yes, um, you're just you just ready for what you want right now and you're too focused on love and not enough on you and other things and other parts of yourself, okay? Tell me why the Two of Pentacles is... Well, damn, that came out fast. What we got, what we got, what we got? The Knight of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups, okay? So I definitely feel like there's a lot of emotional instability for a lot of my Virgos. You're dealing with that in your relationships right now. I want to say that in a lot of readings, people always make it seem like um, everybody else is doing something shady to the person, that, to the sign that they're reading about, right? Okay, so let me just tell you, I also, when I do readings, I, I see shadow shit. So what I'm telling you for some of my Virgos, right, that nobody, some of my Virgos are just insecure. Some of you are just in, dealing with a lot of insecurity, okay? A lot of insecurity and a lot of, 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 of bitterness at this point in time because of whatever you feel held back about. A lot of this may have a lot to do with who you are within, Okay, because the strength is here with the four wands and the chariot. Some of you may be so engulfed in families or wanting a family that you're not, you're missing, you're missing the whole damn boat of a lot of things. You're not seeing yourself the way that you should. You're having a distorted view of yourself. Therefore, you know, you're having this distorted view of other people. Okay, and it's a negative one. This Queen of Swords is coming out very negative to me with this Eight of Swords energy with the Five of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Some of you are really dealing with distorted perceptions of yourself and you are inflicting that upon other people who has not done anything to you, okay? Some of these people could be friends. Some of these people could be family members. Some of these people could be people that you work with. Some of these people can be the spouse that you're with. OK, that you may be inflicting these distorted views or emotions upon them. This is just completely so this, this 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 is just some of you may even be dealing with, you know, some jealous emotions from my Virgo because of this insecure uh, insecurity of yourself. And you're taking it out in your relationship. And this is what's really causing, you know, this is what's causing the the the, the separation. OK, this is what's causing the the um, the gap, I want to say more so. This is what's causing the gap. And this is what's stopping your relationship from progressing emotionally and mentally and financially. Okay. Um, some of y'all just got a lot of work to do on yourself. Okay. Because this queen of wands is in reverse. A lot of y'all are just not feeling very motivated. You know, you're not feeling, you're not feeling attractive. You're not feeling, you ain't feeling yourself. Some of my Virgos, y'all just ain't feeling yourselves. Okay. But again, distorted views. This is why. You're not feeling good about yourself. You're not feeling good about yourself right now. Some of my brothers are struggling with that. This five of cups energy with the eight of swords and the queen of swords. Some of you guys have a very distorted view of yourself. Okay. Again, you need to take some time to yourself and go, go, go Stella. Some of y'all need to get y'all groove back. Okay. Stella or Steven. Take it out and resonate. But whoever the hell, Stella, Steven, you, some of y'all need to get away from domestic situations in your relationship take some damn time out to yourself okay go find yourself because this is just not a healthy boundary uh, or a healthy uh, boundary that you have in your relationship or with your friends or even with yourself okay tell me why the two of swords is here uh clarify the two of swords for my virgo summon rising venus and grand ancestors what is the energy and the messages of the two of swords the ace of wands okay again some of you 
are definitely looking for um some of y'all want to bring in something new and exciting in your life okay in your love life some of you some of you may feel like your partner or your spouse is bored with you okay or not turned on by you and you're trying to think of a way to bring some flame back into your relationship or you're trying to figure out how to bring some flame to yourself so that you can appear more attractive to you know the opposite sex so that you can draw in a mate okay take that how it resonates this is for the singles and those in relationships this is about love so love can be about relationships marriages date ships whatever kind of ships okay so these are the messages that's coming out for some of my virgos um, but with this two of swords here and this queen of swords, some of you may be paying too much attention to things outside of yourself. You're too busy maybe trying to look at other people, other, other beauty or other, you know, things about, uh, the men or the women around you to try to, um, you know, see what you can do different. And there's nothing wrong with that, but just make sure that it's not causing some sort of jealousy, Virgos, because this five of cups is here with this queen of swords. I don't like that energy. I don't like that combination at all because it's coming out um, with the five of cups. That's that. That's 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 a jealous energy. I, I'll get a very jealous energy from that. You know, some of you may be saying negative things about other people. That's not um, validated. It just just your opinion with this queen of swords energy. So you may be saying negative things about other people again because you're trying you're inflicting your feelings about yourself onto them and onto others. This queen of swords, I can't make this up. It's out here twice. That's Some of you are trying to mirror what you say about other people because that's how you feel about yourself. You know, find a negative, finding something negative to say or having negative jealous feelings towards other people. Okay. Tell me why the queen of cups is here for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. They bring in seven. I'm not one of those readers that's here to butter no damn body up. I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. It just is what it is. If you don't want to hear about your shadow side, then hey, my readings ain't for you. But if, for the people that's ready to accept the good, and the bad, and the ugly about themselves, then you might want to push that subscribe button and make sure you put that ringer on and share and like. And make a comment if this resonates with you or somebody you know. So the Queen of Cups is here with the Six of Swords and the Four of Cups. Okay? Some of you are... um. Some of you are emotionally stuck somewhere. Some of you are emotionally stuck somewhere with it. No, I just feel like a lot of you are being dishonest about how you're feeling about yourself emotionally. With this Six of Swords and this Four of Cups in reverse. Some of you are going within. Some of you are going within. Okay, but I feel like this Six of Swords is here because this is saying that some of you need to go um, deeper within yourself. Go back and find the root of your emotional dis dysfunction right now because it's causing issues in your relationships. OK, so I don't really feel like there is no um, a lot of infidelity that's going on um, for some of my Virgos. It is. But for um, I want to say a generous amount of you, some of you are, you know, pushing your relationship to that because of your insecurities. OK, and your inability to see your own wrongdoings or your inability to see where you need to fix you. OK, uh, this six of swords also is somebody who's stuck in the past. This four of cups is also somebody who's uh, going who's, who's, who may feel like uh, they're too proud to accept or acknowledge what's going on with themselves. OK, and then when you do acknowledge what's going on with you. You got to drag somebody else in it with you. You're not going down by yourself. This is what I feel from this Queen of Cups, this Four of Cups in reverse, and this Six of Swords in reverse. I feel like you need to stop trying to, you know, um, deflect what's going on with you. And, and the inside, your shadow side, Virgo, it's your shadow side. Your energy is off, okay? This Queen of Cups energy, your energy is off. Some of you may have issues with your mothers, Okay? Some of you may have some um, childhood issues with your mother, you know, that you don't get along with your mother. OK, there's been a, you know, not such a close knit relationship or, you know, and, and, and it's coming out in your interpersonal relationships with other people. You know, your friendships and your your relationship, whether it's a marriage, a long term relationship or that you're trying to date 
Some of you may have this issue with your father. Okay, the Queen of Cups doesn't have to be a woman. It could be a mother or a father. However, some of y'all are dealing with this issue. Okay, some of y'all are dealing with these abandonment issues or some of y'all are dealing with this rejective issue of feeling like, you know, you're not being acknowledged the way you should be. This is this 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 is a, a an issue that you've been dealing with a lot for a very long time in your life. And you're stuck there. So it's time to turn the Six of Swords energy around for you, for my Virgo so that some of y'all can emotionally, you know, get the, the maturity level that you need to get to so that you can have a healthier relationship. Okay? This should be upright when it comes down to, to this energy that I'm getting. This should not be affecting your interpersonal relationships right now, your love life. But it is because you are going within... But you're still not, you're going in, but you're still deflecting the real issue, okay? You're not, you're still not being quite honest with yourself, Virgos. Tell me why the Queen of Swords is here for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus love messages. You have the Star, you have the Six of Pentacles, and you have the Hangman. I feel like a lot of you feel like you don't get the recognition that you deserve for some of my my, my uh, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus love messages. You may feel like you're not getting the attention that you deserve or or, or um, desire in your relationship or just, you know, period. You don't feel like you're getting the attention that you deserve, you know, for dating. You don't feel like you're drawing in the person that people that you're attracted to. You're drawing in things that you're, um, you know, not that interested in. And you don't stick with it long enough for my single Virgos. For my Virgos in a relationship, I feel like um, when it comes down to maybe work or whatever it is that you may do, some of you may be very talented. Some of you may be dealing, uh, may be still stuck with your creativity, with um, your interpersonal creative side, you know. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of things that you may want to do to show who you are, but you're struggling with that because the hangman is here. OK, I feel like this hangman is here, Virgos, because it's saying that you're paying too much attention to other things, but you need to be really going within yourself to find out what your own personality and creativity consist of. But this is I feel like some of you want attention and recognition in your relationship and you're not getting it. Some of you want attention and recognition in the dating scene and you're not getting it to the degree that you want it. Um so this is what I got for my love messages for my uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Virgos. Uh, some of you are dealing with some infidelity and want to leave, but you're not. Um, I think you know exactly what you should do, but you're trying to figure out what your new beginning is going to be. For uh, those that are in relationships and if there is no infidelity, there's just a lot of insecurity, you know, a lot of um, negative thinking, a lot of, you know, uh, resentful feelings, bitter feelings and jealousy. And for some of my single ones. Um, you're, you're, you're still not, um, in a place to where you're feeling attractive or you're feeling like, you know, you, you, you have nothing about yourself that stands out directly. That's drawn the people you want to yourself with this star, this, Hey man, this, uh, six of pentacles and this queen of swords. Okay. You're trying to figure out who to be. You're trying to find yourself. You're trying to figure out what makes you stand out. What makes you different, you know? Um, cause you want to be out and you want to be seen by people. The six of pentacles energy. All right. Tell me why the ace of pentacles is here for my career messages for, uh, my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. So the eight of, eight of pentacles is here with the ace of cups. I feel like a lot of you have your, um, connections to a lot of opportunities when it comes to your career, um, path, but this ace of wands is in reverse. So I feel like, again, this is um, a lot of lack of creativity is what you're struggling with for, for some of my Virgos, okay, and career messages. I feel like the potential is definitely there. Um, the tools are there. But now it's just about you overcoming your own toxic energy or ways or what's keeping you restricted is some of y'all are really dealing with... Um, some some serious restrictions and it's because of this type of energy this devil energy okay this could be something you're connected and tied to this could be whatever you're trying to do to get what you're trying to do you know some of y'all could be you know dealing with spiritism 
and not using it for the right reasons. And this is why this is in reverse because it's not working. It's backfiring and it's causing you problems in your career. Okay. Um, but I also feel like a lot of this is personal with this death, with this double energy. This also could be connections and other people you're connected to that could be blocking you from getting the opportunity and the creativity that you really need so that you can um, spark what it is you're trying to manifest in your personal career. But this this devil is in reverse. So I feel like a lot of you are acknowledging what you need to do to re what you need to release yourself from to get this creativity cracking because this ace of wands is in reverse. So a lot of you guys are not having any luck with career. I feel like a lot of you are going off on your own on an entrepreneurship uh, um, journey in your career. But the problem is, again, the opportunities are there. The people are there and the tools are there. But what you're offering is not there. It, what you're offering is not there because the creativity is not there. It's just not there. Okay, so let me tell you, why is this Ace of Wands in reverse for my um, Virgo career messages? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of October. Oh, this is too much. Oh, this is too much. This is too much, too much. That's much too much. Never too much. Never too much. Tell me why this Ace of Wands is here. In reverse for my uh, Venus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus career messages. The Temperance. Okay. So, yes, I feel like at this point, a lot of you guys are really trying to, um, you know, stabilize whatever you've been doing so that you can come to, you know, uh, you need to stabilize your energy. Virgos, if for those of you that are going off on a a um, entrepreneurship journey, starting your own, you know, wanting to do something that makes you stand out. You know, you have to balance your energy. If some of you are dealing with spells because of this temperance and this ace of wands, this to me is talking about energy. You know, uh, trying to draw in creative energy. This is what I feel like a lot of you are struggling with and trying to do. Okay. But before you're able to do that, you got to stabilize yourself emotionally first. The only way to do that is to admit who you really are that shadow side and not try and inflict that part of you onto other people but hold it down hold was yours hold your own nutsack you know what i'm saying hold your own titties <laughs> you know what i'm saying don't try to inflict what you suffer from or what you're inflicted with onto other people you know, inflicting that to other people because you're never going to stabilize your own energy that way. Your own emotions and you're never going to be able to, to get that creative side out of you that you're digging and reaching for. Okay, and this is what I'm getting from my Virgo's career messages. For a lot of you, some of you may be overindulging in something. Okay, some of you guys may be overindulging in um, sex. Some of you guys may be overindulging in smoking. Or drinking and this is what's causing the problem that you can't get you can't open that portal or whatever it is that you're trying to do whatever jobs you're trying to seek whatever it is you're trying to start for yourself some of y'all could have just graduated or could be um you know uh have some type of skill that you're good at but it's just not it's not working for you because you're, you're you're overindulging in something that you need to move that out the way detox yourself so that you can be clear and balance all this shit out so you can open those portals do what the fuck it is you're trying to do tell me why the devil was here for my love career messages um for uh my virgo summer rising and venus so some of you are definitely trying to um unrestrict yourself from being able to, you know, get the wealth that you feel you are entitled to and deserve. Okay. So you have the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo Energy. You have the um, the Eight of Cups with the Devil, which is Capricorn Taurus, Virgo Energy, Virgo Energy, uh, Capricorn Energy. And you have the Page of Pentacles again, which is also uh, Virgo Energy. Okay. Again, some of you are trying to release restrictions from your, your um, financial wealth. Some of you know that you're doing that something has been restricting you and you can't figure out what the fuck it is. Well, Virgos, let me tell you what it is. It's you. 
Okay, it's you. And some of y'all, whoever it is that may be do dealing in spiritism, some of you guys may be not using this with the right intention. And that shit is backfiring and it's causing you to not be able to move forward in what it is that you're trying to do as far as your career, as far as your creativity. Okay, but the devil is in reverse, but it's coming out with the queen of pentacles. It's coming out with the eight of cups and it's coming out with the page of pentacles. So I feel like you are trying to evaluate things and go back to the drawing board, as you know, I like to say, and um, think about how to undo these restrictions. Okay, some of y'all should be much further ahead than what you are, but you're not, you know, you've been restricted. Some of y'all are finally trying to come out of that now. You're trying to unrestrict your um, ability to call in your wealth, okay? This Eight of Cups energy. You're, you're trying to free yourself from those restrictions, okay? This is what some of you are doing. Some of you are taking the time out to um, focus on your career, focus on your coins, which is a good thing, okay? This Queen of Pentacles is out here, so y'all are very serious about y'all money. Oh, uh, I didn't even see this out here. And the King of Pentacles is out here. So some of y'all may be working with y'all mates or working with somebody else, you know, um, in this career path. The Ten of Pentacles is out here too. So some of y'all could have a family business or somebody could be starting a business with close friends or relatives or somebody that you are familiar with. Again, the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you do have money coming towards y'all, period. Tell me why the Ten of Pentacles is here for my um, uh Career messages for my Virgos, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Some of y'all are good with saving money, okay? Uh, the Fool, the Lovers, and the Devil with the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like some of you guys are definitely working with the um, sorcery, you know? Y'all y'all working with the source to pull in y'all y'all career messages and finances to open up doors for you to be able to move forward. And what it is that you're doing. But I just want to tell some of y'all. Whatever you're doing. Make sure y'all know what the hell y'all doing. When y'all out here messing around. With, with, with this with this sorcery. Because this magic. This shit ain't nothing to play with. If you fuck up. And you're doing spells. And you do it. And your attitude ain't right. And your energy is off. You're going to invoke that into your rituals. Your spells. Or whatever you're doing. So when, that, when your shit come back. And it sound like them the, the cartoons womp 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 and it don't work. That be the reason why. Because you are not invoking the right energy in it. You just you're just doing it. Because look, I know this is gonna work. But if your intentions are not right, whatever your intentions are, that's what you're gonna manifest. See, you trying to manifest some people do these spells because they're trying to manifest specific shit, right? But you gotta realize whatever your intentions are. When you're manifesting, that's what's going to come back to you. So you might think you're trying to manifest money, but you might be trying to manifest something to outdo somebody. But if your intentions is, I'm about to show this bitch, or I'm about to show this motherfucker, then guess what? That's going to come out in your energy. And what's going to happen is that shit is going to come back and it's not going to work. All right. So make sure that when y'all doing y'all spell work or whatever y'all doing is you have pure intentions. And you've crossed your T's and dotted your I's. And you're not just jumping out there doing shit just because you think you know what you're doing. It don't work like that. All right? This is coming out with the Ten of Pentacles, though. So a lot of you have broken the restrictions from your finances. And you are going to move forward. And you are going to be collaborating with other people. But make sure that your intentions are right and their intentions are right. Okay? Because I don't like this double energy. But I also feel like this double energy is talking about wealth. So some of you are definitely calling in wealth, okay? Don't become obsessed with wealth and finances and money and riches. But I feel like a lot of you are calling that in and you're going to get it. Hands down. Point blank period dot com. If you are having any financial struggles for a lot of my Virgos, that shit is going to be over with. Period. Tell me why the Ten of Swords is in reverse for my personal messages for my uh, Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Tell me why the Ten of Swords is here in reverse by the power of the universe. What is the energy and the messages of the Ten of Swords in reverse for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? All right. What we got? What we got? What we got? You have the Page of Swords. Hmm. Interesting. And you have Judgment. Again, this Ten of Swords is in reverse. So I do feel like um, 
Some of you guys have been dealing with some betrayals. Okay. Some of y'all have done some betraying. Some of y'all have been doing some gossiping. Some of y'all have been gossiped about. Okay. But I also feel like with this judgment here that some of you are definitely seeing a lot of things a lot more clear now. And you're deciding to pull yourself away from that toxic energy, away from toxic people, and trying to balance out your own toxicity. Okay? Because everybody has a toxic side. All right? I know what man is. Okay? Man it definitely can be um, not having no patience and just, you know, not really giving a damn about other people's feelings. And sometimes, I'm going to be real, I don't give a... <laughs> Flat out. Sometimes I don't. You know, but I had to work on that. Sometimes I can be extremely, you know, um, I got a lot of raw emotions and my ancestors had to pull me to the side and tell me, listen, we like your raw emotions, but you could be rambunctious. You could just really be very cold and what you say sometimes. So I had to check myself on that. And that's my toxic side. Because let me tell you something. I got a tongue sharper than a razor blade, but I got a motherfucking knuckle sandwich sharper than that. All right. And I got 12 motherfucking hollow tips to back it up on top of that. So I ain't the one to be fucked with. I <laughs> Ow! You feel me? So when you see me coming, you better duck. But I ain't got to do it like that no more. You know why? Because my ancestors is crazy as fuck. Ah! They fight for me now. So I don't have to be that person anymore. But I had to check myself and admit that about myself. You feel me? So uh, what I'm saying is that Virgos, it's time for a lot of you to also do that same personal digging within the inside instead of being so damn judgmental towards other people. Okay, y'all can be extremely judgmental towards everybody else, but then sometimes you raise Charles to your goddamn self. And it's time for you to stop having that kind of blurred judgment on other people and not seeing yourself when you are in not such a good energy yourself. Okay. So, um, yep. So I feel like a lot of you are coming to that conclusion about your personal messages. The, you have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So I feel like now a lot of you are starting to really think before you even, when you start feeling those negative emotions coming on, some of you may get to a place where you're starting to not speak faster than you think. You know, just based off of emotion, you saying and doing shit, spiteful shit, saying hurtful shit, and you're doing it deliberately to fuck with somebody else. But that shit always backfire. So I think I feel like some of y'all are now getting to a place where it's like, you know what, I'm going to just stop talking and just focus on me now. And I think that you're doing the right thing, Virgo, if this is you. Okay, tell me why the Knight of Swords is here. Clarify the Knight of Swords. I just saw the tower while I was talking. That also gives me the energy of a lot of hidden emotions. You know, um, sometimes when you do that, you tend to push people away and ruin good relationships with people. You know what I'm saying? Because you have to really pay attention to yourself more than you do other people. That's something we all have to learn how to do. You got to always keep yourself checked. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times as people, everybody see everything everybody else do. But when we don't see ourselves. So I feel like this is what you are going through, Virgo. And it's a struggle because... Nobody wants to see their self, especially when it's not in such of a high, high rising light. Okay. So tell me why the Knight of Swords is in reverse for Virgo. Uh, personal messages, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sacred Ancestors. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Uh, tell me why the Three of Wands. Okay. I feel like you're Virgos. I feel like some of you are now thinking more carefully about your moves. Thinking more carefully and strategizing more about, you know, um, what you're going to do next. Because I feel like in the past, a lot of you were reckless and just kind of like just just all over the place. You know, um, when it came down to your thinking, scattered mind, you know, not thinking clearly, not having just feeling confused about a lot of shit. Not 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 really taking the time out to balance your thoughts and to put things in perspective so that you can move accordingly. I'm sorry, y'all. That's incense energy. I mean, yeah, well, it is energy. So I'm kind of getting up on my, my nose and shit. But I feel like now with this Knight of Swords in reverse, because this Knight of Swords is usually a fast moving energy um, without, and it's relentless. So I feel like you guys are now slowing down and taking your time and strategizing with this Three of Wands energy. Now you're moving a lot more meticulously 
more so now than you have been in your past. And I feel like this is definitely a good energy for um, you to be in, Virgos, because now is a good time for you to be manifesting your dreams and your goals, whatever that might be. You know, whether it's love, whether it's, you know, self-healing, whether it's finances or career. Now is the time. Suck up all the Jupiter energy you can because you are in, you know, some of you are definitely facing some serious challenges. Some of you are, but stay optimistic, okay? Why is this King of Pentacles here? Um, for my purpose. Okay, so again, y'all are definitely going to be in a good place financially if you're not already there. Because uh, look at this. This, this uh, Four of Swords and this Six of Wands is here. But don't be buying frivolous shit, Virgos. Okay, because y'all like spending money on shit you don't need. So uh, what I'm being told to tell you with this King of Pentacles energy is stack your bread. Stack your bread. Keep stacking and keep stacking because... um. You may end up buying a house, okay? You may end up buying a car. There's something. You may end up investing in another business, whatever that situation is. Y'all got money and fortune on your side overall through all of this bullshit that you're going through, okay? Y'all don't have nothing to worry about. But I feel like this Ace of Swords energy is on the top of the deck because it's telling you to stay aware of yourself and not so much other people. Judge yourself critically not so much other people virgos so anyway this is what i got for y'all um and if you need a personal read y'all know what to do y'all can hit my email up at the not uh at gmail.com and don't forget to like and subscribe and share and on that note i will see y'all on the next talking tarot show and the next general talking tarot general reading or zodiac reading on that note y'all know what it is she out Peace.